Hey, Karen, you have turned 300 pounds into millions of pounds in a very short space of time. So the question I have for you today is, what does mindset have to do with building enormous wealth? Great question, Volatiri. Have you heard of the Pareto Principle? It's also known as the 80-20 rule. And what we as investors know, if you like, we've learned, probably learned the hard way, is that when we're generating wealth, 80% of generating that wealth is mindset and 20% of it is skill. So let me explain this a little bit further and give you some examples of uh, how we use this. So it was Pareto who actually studied uh, economics. He's behind a lot of uh, 20th, 21st century thinking, and he was from the 19th century. And he started studying economics, and he found that 20% of the population owned 80% of the wealth. And when he studied those 20% of the population, he found that their results weren't so much based on their actions, but on the choices that they were prepared to make. Now, I always say, you choose your level of wealth, right? If you want to be poor, that's because you choose to be poor. You might not think you've chosen to be poor, but you do choose to be poor. If you are a millionaire, I made a choice I wanted to be a millionaire. I had to get my mindset to that of a millionaire. And when I decided I wanted to become a billionaire, I had to change my mindset again to become that of a billionaire. So... The way we think about things and the choices we make actually determine the level of wealth that we have. Now, Jeff Bezos, roughly the richest man in the world, (laughs) give or take, depending on what Apple shares are doing at the time, he says that people have gifts and people make choices. And the people who rely on making choices are the ones who become the wealthiest. And he says that is the key that helped him generate his wealth because he makes the choices that lead him to where he needs to go. So when we talk about choice, as I said, it is a mindset, but We decide what we want. Now, if we want to be a millionaire, I use we, the royal we, as they say. um, If we want to be a millionaire, then we have to adopt that mindset. We can't just say, oh, yeah, I'm going to be a millionaire and not do anything about it. The mindset of a millionaire, we need to know what that mindset is how it works, and what people do to get there. And as I said, when I decided I want to become a billionaire, it was setting that mindset in focus so that I became a billionaire. The choices that we actually make determine the pathway that we go along. So what are some of the mindset, if you like, some of the choices that we need to make. Well, the first thing is once you've put that choice there, this is what I want to do. This is where I want to be. I'm going to make the decisions that get me here. And then we put a plan together. With a plan, we are creating that actual pathway that we're going to follow to get us where we want to be. And we just follow that pathway. The next thing is that we have to focus on it. We can't just say, right, I've made a choice. I've put a plan together. It's all going to happen because it doesn't. The next step is that we have to 
focus on it. We have to know that is the pathway I'm going on. If I stray off that, I've got to bring myself back onto it. We have to focus on that pathway. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, it's really interesting because Warren Buffett and Bill Gates. So Bill Gates is the founder of um, Microsoft. Warren Gates, sorry, Warren, Warren Buffett is the founder of uh, Berkshire Hathaway. And they're like number two and number three in the world for the wealthiest people. They were both on a stage and being interviewed. A live audience, they were given a, sh and the audience asked some questions and they were given a sheet of paper and they were told without consulting one another, write on here one word that you would say was key to you becoming wealthy. And when they were asked to show what that word was that they'd written down, both of them had written focus. So we know we need to make choices. We know we need to put the plan in place for the choices. And we know now that we need to focus on where we're going. The next step then is the action steps. Because if you don't take the action steps that are necessary to get you where you want to go, you're not going to get there. And those action steps are, one, you're going to need education. Because we all need to learn something to move us to the next level. I, I am always, always studying. And I am implementing things that I learn on courses. And I go on specific courses to get me to the next step of where I want to go. So education, that's important. You need to know what you don't already know, okay? And you don't already know things. So you've got to have the action plan. What's my next step? What am I going to do? Um, I liken this to when you um, want to learn to drive a car, okay? You know that you want to drive a car. You've made a choice. I'm going to drive a car. Next, you have to put a plan together. So what do I need if I'm going to learn to drive? Well, one, I know I have to go and get a license or a provisional license. I have to have lessons to drive the car. I have to pass a test to drive the car. I, you know, you've got this plan and all the way along, there are steps that you take and you need education. Who knows how to fill out a form? If you've never done it before, you've got to find out what they actually want from you. Once you've got the form filled out, your license arrives, right, I need some lessons. What's involved in taking the test? What do I need to do? So that's where education comes in. And it's one of the reasons that I believe education is one of the choices that you have to make. So the mindset is absolutely key to understanding the pathway that you're going to follow, for creating the action steps that you're going to take. So I just want to cover this again, just to reinforce it. So one, you need to make choices. And I'll use the word need, because it, if you want to change, if you want money not to be an issue for you, there has to be a need to change it. Right? And that is a choice that you make. So choice. Right? You put a plan together. You focus on that plan. You take the action steps that are necessary and you get the education that you need to make sure you are following through all those steps that you need to take. That all comes down to your mindset. Now, if your mindset is, this is definitely where I'm going, I've made the choice, I'm going to focus on it, then you will get there. But if you haven't got the right mindset, if you are in the mindset of, oh, well, I can't afford to go and do this course, how on earth am I going to do that? It, the mindset should be one of abundance. 
I know I can afford to do that. I'm going to make sure I can afford to do that. I know the money's going to come from somewhere to do it. Okay, so it's switching your mindset, but concentrating on those five things. Choice, plan, focus, action steps, and the education. Those five things are the fundamental to getting you from where you are now to where you want to go. There's a very famous book by Napoleon Hill. And Napoleon Hill uh, was basically not employed because he wasn't paid, but he was given the task of studying the wealthiest people and to write about how they made their money. And his book that he released was called Think and Grow Rich. The mind, everything comes from the mind. So I hope that answers your question. Mindset is fundamental. It is 80% of investing. And the actual doing, the taking the action steps, is only 20% of it.